Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about the Shantikai Sylvie's birthday sale that is coming up. So on the day that you're seeing this, this will be the 27th. The sale will start tomorrow and it'll run through the 31st, which is Saturday. And you get 30% off of all items except for the philanthropy item. So that's like anything with an animal on it. So I wanted to share all of my recommendations for the sale as well as what I picked up. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Kayla. I'm not a makeup artist, but I love all things makeup and beauty, specifically all things luxury makeup and luxury beauty and anything high end. And also, if you're not new to my channel, you know that Shantikai has my heart. It is my absolute favorite brand. So I'm always so, so excited whenever this sale rolls around every year. So if you're interested in hearing my recommendations as well as what I picked up, then just keep watching. So first I wanna talk about my skincare recommendations. I think that, you know, their skincare really is top of the line. It has truly, truly transformed my skin. I get, you know, occasional breakouts, but as far as the overall quality and texture and appearance of my skin, it has really, really transformed since I started using Shantikai skincare. This is not an ad. <laughs> they do not sponsor me, although <laughs> I wish that they would. <laughs> A girl can dream, right? But it's, I just love it. And I truly, truly believe that it's worth every penny which is a lot of pennies, but since it's a sale, it's the perfect time to pick it up. So I'm gonna go through my skincare routine with them, and obviously these are all recommendations, and I love, love, love these products. So the first product is their Rose De My Cleansing Balm. This stuff, y'all, I was not a cleansing balm person until I started using this one. It's more, look, Oh, the smell, oh, the rose to my smell. If you have not smelled that scent or any of the Shantikai skincare products, do yourself a favor, somehow get a sample, smell them. The smell is just intoxicating. It smells so good. But as you can see, it almost looks more like a moisture, I'm sorry, yeah, a moisturizer, like a rich, creamy moisturizer. It removes all of my makeup. I use it every single day. This is like my third tub of this stuff. It's the only cleansing balm that I have ever been able to use that doesn't break me out, but yet still removes all of my makeup. It's absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend it. Next in my skincare routine, she's a little dirty, but it is the rice and geranium foaming cleanser. This is a small tube, okay? But when I tell you, you need the tiniest little amount, like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all while I have it out, all you need to clean your entire face. I'm not even kidding. I clean, I use my cleansing balm, clean my face, and I use this to clean my face and my neck. It foams up. It's got a little bit of grit in it, but it's not like that kind of grit that's gonna damage your skin or that's like too abrasive. But I mean, that's literally, look at that. You can kind of see it here. See the little grit in it? But it's really, really fantastic. It doesn't really have a scent if you're like aversive to scents, but it's a, just a gentle, beautiful, cleanser. So my next recommendation for skincare, and I use this too, is this stress repair concentrate. Now I use it as an eye cream. I use it every morning and every evening. Just in the evenings, I take it all the way around my eye, whereas in the mornings, I just put it underneath. I'm looking at my computer 
It says that you can ap apply it as an eye cream, but in different lives that I've watched with different people from Shantikai, they say that it can really be used anywhere on your face that you want to work on filling in those fine lines. So what I'll do is I take it and I put it under my eyes and I'll also take it and run it <laughs> like right along the top of my lip. And then sometimes I'll take it in between my brows and then in these smile lines. But again, with all of their products, you only need the tiniest little amount. I mean, it's so emollient and so nice. It wells wear, it wells wear, it wears well. <laughs> it wears well under makeup. I just absolutely love it. And again, this little bitty canister is gonna last you like forever. I had a sample size of it. And I kid you not, the sample size lasted me for a month. Like that is how tiny of an amount you need. I absolutely love it. Okay, y'all. So this next product is the priciest, okay? Again, this is something that I got a sample of and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I was able to get the one that I have now on sale and I'm picking up a backup in the sale. It's expensive. I know, but again, a little bit goes a long way. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video. It is this bio lifting serum. It's amazing, y'all. On their website, it says it's an incredibly innovative serum. It's infused with powerful botanicals and the newest peptides that smooth the appearance of horizontal and vertical lines while working to moisturize, immediately lift, visibly firm, and protect against blue light, blue light pollution, almost a production. <laughs> but this, okay, and I know it sounds scary whenever it's like an oil, but it's not. It absorbs into your skin. I literally, every morning after I cleanse, put my eye cream on, I do like one, two, three, four little drops and work it into my skin and it is so so amazing you can literally like if you let it sit there for a minute you can really see the lift like it's insane and again it does have oils in it oh i just realized how dirty this is y'all ew <laughs> she's well loved it does have oil which my skin usually doesn't do well with but it's sorcery it's absolutely magic I've heard Angela Rogers say it's like their little, her little Botox needle in a bottle. It's fantastic. I love it. I picked up the BioLifting Serum and Mask Duo. So it's a full size serum and it comes with a travel size of the BioLifting Mask. And it's actually $3 cheaper than buying the serum by itself. So amazing. A great deal. I really, really love this. And last but certainly not least is my moisturizer, the Chantecai Rose de Mai Moisturizer. I think that's what they call it, Rose de Mai Cream. Again, the smell, it's absolutely divine. Let me show you the texture. It's a beautiful, beautiful, rich texture. This is the moisturizer that I use. Let me pull up the description really quick for this so I can read it to y'all. It says the exquisite Rose de Mai moisturizer imbues its rare and delicate scent to this very modern gel cream. It says it's infused with botanicals that moisturize and cocoon the skin, leaving it looking smoother and more radiant looking, rich in plants, stem cell extracts that moisturize to help neutralize accumulated photo damage and, and soothe skin softening the look of redness. I really truly believe that for my acne prone skin, this stuff is like, it really soothes my redness. The rose in it, I've heard, I'm not a dermatologist, so don't count me on this stuff, but I've heard that rose in general is good for acne prone skin and that this has made me a believer. It's absolutely fantastic. So that is my skincare recommendations for the sale. If you're looking for a mask, the gold recovery mask is chef's kiss perfection. I actually wore that last night while I was sleeping and I just woke up and my skin is just beautiful. I think I talked about it in one of my favorites videos. In fact, I know I did because it's absolutely amazing. So now I wanna talk about my makeup recommendations. Now, honestly, 
anything that you want to pick up, I recommend <laughs> because it's all fantastic. So since the philanthropy products aren't included, I didn't want to include my Future Skin Cushion Foundation, which y'all all know I absolutely am obsessed with. But what is included is this Future Skin Foundation. It, they say that it is the same formula in the cushion as is in this pot, but I find that this formula, um, let me open it up so you can see the texture. It is more of a gel formula and honestly doesn't provide as much coverage as the one in the cushion, but it is what I'm wearing today. I wanted to wear all of the makeup products that I'm going to be mentioning. It's very lightweight. It almost feels like it's you're putting water on your skin and the cushion feels like that too, but this one specifically. So this formula, this is what I wear daily whenever I have to wear a mask okay it's almost like a tinted moisturizer kind of deal i just slap it on my face and i mean i know because we're wearing masks it's all gonna be going away pretty much anyway so this is what i use under my mask so yeah i highly recommend this i have backups of this because i know that i'm gonna go through it but if you don't i highly highly recommend this so next product is this. Okay, so we know about the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. I think it's available for pre-order right now, but I don't know that it applies to the sale. So if you're looking for a powder and the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder is not a part of the sale, this HD Perfecting Powder is incredible. So it's what I use to set under my eyes today. I did use my perfect blur finishing powder to set my face. Maybe it's included. I'll leave a pinned comment down below when I find out. But this is what I use to set under my eyes. I've talked about it before. I don't love it to set my face because it's just a little bit too matte. But for setting under my eyes, it's absolutely incredible. So I highly, highly recommend it. So the next product I want to mention, which is also what I'm wearing under my eyes as concealer. And I also use this on my face where I needed a little bit more coverage. So here on my cheeks, I used it here on my chin, on my nose to add more coverage. It is this Real Skin Face and Eye Stick. I always get the name. Eye and Face Stick. I always get it wrong. I really like this, y'all. Um, mine has these weird little things on it still. I know I've talked about it before. I don't know what they're from, but I have it in the shade Zero C, and I really love this as a concealer. I've heard that some people say it's too dry for them, but I just slap it on under my eyes and pat it in with my finger, and I don't know. My skin's not like overly greasy or overly dry, but I really do like it for under my eyes. And today is actually the first time that I used it on other areas of my face because I wanted to use this Future Skin Foundation, but it wasn't quite enough coverage, and I really like the result. It's fantastic, y'all. Uh, again, in the comments down below, I'll leave kind of how it wore throughout the day putting this on top, but so far, it's really, really fantastic. So next, this is a fan favorite, y'all. It is the Real Bronze in the shade Serena. Again, it's what I'm wearing on my face today. I don't think you could go wrong with this shade or the Goa shade. I want to try the Goa shade, but that's gonna have to wait. <laughs> but it's a beautiful bronzer, y'all. I mentioned it in my top five bronzers for pale skin video, which if you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely go check it out. It is that baked gelée formula, so it just melts into your skin and becomes one with your skin and just leaves a beautiful, beautiful finish. I love it so, so much. So next, okay, I'll tell you, I'm wearing this next product as a base on my eyes. I didn't have any of the Chantecaille eyeshadows though, like the little refillable ones. So I am wearing the luminescent eye shades on my eyes. I have the shade Lion, Zebra, and Cheetah to create this look. I love those. And you know, honestly, y'all, they're not included in the sale. But if you're already shopping and it's something that you've been wanting, 
maybe just go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> I don't know. If you're already shopping, that's kind of how I look at things, but they're fantastic. I've gone on about them before, but what I'm wearing is a base is this mermaid eye color in the shade seashell. These are included in the sale. Oh, <laughs> so the shell. <laughs> in the sale. This is just a beautiful neutral gold champagne -y color here. I'm gonna swatch it for y'all on my hand just so you can see. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love using this as a base for my luminescent eye shades. You can't really see it. Like it's almost like the same color as my skin just with a little bit of shimmer, but I love using it as a base because it really makes it easy for me to just take a clean finger and blend those other shades in. So any of these, honestly, probably before the sale is over, I will probably pick up another one of these, not this color. Um, I really wanna try the color Sylvie. And then I think there's another one that I want to try, maybe Triton, I might've made that up, but there's another one. So. I didn't pick it up yet, but I might. They're great. So while we're talking about eyes, oh my gosh, all of the eyeliners have been restocked, y'all. Oh, thank goodness. I have Amethyst and Jasper, which I will go ahead and swatch for y'all, but I finally was able to pick up Olive Bracad. These are the most creamy, beautiful, long-wearing eyeliners. They're just absolutely fantastic. So this is the shade jasper i'm gonna swatch it right here underneath that seashell eye color see it's a little metallic-y but not this is disgusting let me put that napkin down <laughs> it's a little metallic-y but not too much it's what i'm wearing on my eyes today it is the perfect neutral pretty brown eyeliner i think i love my wayne goss precious opal but they are just too different things to me. That one's a little bit more bronzy, whereas this one's more of like a neutral brown. And I also have this shade Amethyst, which I will swatch right underneath Jasper for y'all. So there's Amethyst. So, so pretty. They're so creamy. I mean, you saw like, I mean, you can't see. They look really similar actually on my hand, except one's more purpley and one's more brown but I barely had to put any pressure. Like I know you can't tell that, you know, from us being over the computer <laughs> or over your phone, but I barely had to put any pressure and the pigmentation is just crazy good. And they last all day and they don't smudge, they don't smear, fantastic. So I also wanna mention in terms of eyeliners, this brightening eye cajal. I know I've mentioned it before, but to put this in your waterline, it really, like it doesn't seem like much, but popping this in my waterline every day really just brightens up the whole look. So that's another recommendation that I have. While we're on eyes, I'm not gonna dwell on it y'all, but the sale is the perfect time to pick up the Chantecaille Faux Sales Longest Lash Mascara. It's my favorite, it's my holy grail. I have multiple backups, so I didn't purchase any this time, but now is the time. If you haven't tried it, try it, it's fantastic. I'm not gonna go on, we're gonna move on to lip product recommendations. <laughs> so first I wanna mention what I'm wearing today. So these lip liners from Chantecaille are slept on, y'all. They are beautiful, they're creamy, they're long wearing, and they're just fantastic. So I only have one, in the shade Nuance, which is what I'm wearing today. Let me swatch it up here for y'all. So this is the shade Nuance. It's a neutral, pinky, brown, an everyday wearable shade. It's absolutely beautiful. So I've been loving taking this liner and topping it with the Lip Balm in the shade Calendula, Lip Tint Hydrating Balm. That's what I'm wearing today. I put on that liner and I topped it with this. These balms, y'all, I will say I picked up another one of these in the shade Beach Rose. They are so, so pretty. Let me find a spot. Let me swatch it over here. Well, no, let me swatch it over here. See, it's just very sheer, yet hydrating and beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend these. These are easy to just throw in your purse and use 
every day alone on top of a liner to refresh your lips. Just fantastic. So <laughs> we all know about the lip sheiks. So the philanthropy ones, so like the butterfly, the hummingbird, the elephant ones, those are not included in the sale. But just the regular ones, y'all, alone, again, I've talked about them extensively before. They are truly, truly my favorite lipstick formula. I talked about it in the perfect makeup tag video, which if you haven't watched it, be sure to watch it. But the formula is just absolutely stunning. Here, I, ha I mean, I have a bunch of them, but here I have the shade, let me swatch it, Moroccan Rose right here at the bottom. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful everyday pink. The formula, they smell kind of vanilla-y. Oh, they're just absolutely fantastic. So any of those that you could pick up, I highly, highly recommend them. Okay, y'all, so that is my recommendations for the Shantakai Sylvie's birthday sale. I mean, I could go on and on, and honestly, <laughs> that was really tough for me to even narrow it down to that, but I definitely wanted to include skincare because their skincare, like I said, it is pricey, so a sale is a perfect time to try and pick it up, and they have a bunch of like discovery sets so you get a really good deal as far as getting to try a bunch of different products at one time. So anyways, y'all, what are y'all picking up or what did you pick up if you had early access to the sale? I'd love to hear. Are there any things that I didn't mention that I need to pick up before it's over? <laughs> I'm sure I'll be making another purchase. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you're picking up, what you did pick up. Also, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you like my content, please hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of our little family. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it's at Beauty by Kayla K. I'd love to see you over there. And thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.